So that's how you start the second half of a season, man. Coming off the all-star break, coming off a lengthy break. And you do it against a team that scores a lot of goals nonetheless. What is going on, everybody? I am Mac. Back with another video. Good Thursday morning, everybody. As always, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is in the box below. So talking about the Pens a little bit more. A 3-0 shutout win over the Winnipeg Jets the other night. As the Pens... The strange season for them continues. I mean, they look like a quality team one one game, and then they just completely fall apart the next game. I mean, it's been like that for the better part of the last two seasons for the Pens. But I can't be mad about a 3 nothing win over the Winnipeg Jets the other night. Um... So just talking about that a little bit and what I want to see going forward for the Pens. The one play in particular that happened, you know, it, with uh, Nola Chari, hopefully he's okay. Took a nasty shot from Brendan Dillon. So again, hopefully he's okay. That uh, took, you know, that put the Pens on a five-minute major penalty uh, power play opportunity. And they took advantage of it. And that's been the one thing the Pens have really lacked over the past couple of seasons is taking advantage of the power play, and they took advantage of it, which I'll get into in a little bit. I think, for the most part, uh, Tristan Jari and Jake Gensel, really solid games for the both of them. This was uh, Jake Gensel's 500th career game, and he was able to knock. He was able to knock in a point. And Tristan Jari, of course, the hero of the game. A guy that I'm really hard on. And I think Tristan Jari is really starting to live up to that extension that he had before the season began. He pitched another shutout. And really, I think Tristan Jari is just really tending the net really well. Um... Even guy like Chris Letang, a guy who I just love to whip on this channel, had the cleanest goal on Tuesday night with an unassisted goal. Riley Smith come back from injury. He played real well. The four checking off the turnover, which led to that goal, was really good. And then, of course, the major penalty where the Pens got two goals on that five-minute major by Jeff Carter and Brian Rust both scoring there. Eric Carlson, Lars Eller, and of course Sidney Crosby, who now has 51 points on the season, all got points. Just a really good team effort all together the other night in Pittsburgh. Um, the only thing that really concerned me about the Pens was the zone exits that did lead to penalties. I think that's something that the Pens really need to clean up on. But yeah, I mean, like I said, there's a lot to love, whether it was Jake Gensel's having his uh, his 500th career game, Chris Letang, the guy who pays rent in the penalty box, leading all the players on the ice in time, which is something that Mike Sullivan doesn't really have a whole lot of when it comes to the veterans like that. And then, of course, Chris, uh, Tristan Jari pitching that shutout against a team who is just lethal with shooting the puck. They get a lot of goals every game. And the thing is, is that, sure, he wasn't really tested in the second period, but in the third, he was absolutely pushed to his limit. Be mainly because of that five-minute major, he wasn't tested a lot. But the third, he was pushed. Winnipeg came in. They were desperate for some shots. They were desperate to get a goal in there. And you could tell that the pressure was on. But Tristan Jari responded to it real well. And this is something that I want to see going forward for the Pens. We got the Minnesota Wild on Friday night. And then we play Winnipeg at Winnipeg on Saturday night, which should be a highly anticipated 
rematch. But overall, if the Pens just keep this up in the second half, I really think that a playoff spot is not impossible for them. They need to be able to keep up this consistency against teams that they need to beat. And they got to stop with these careless penalties. They got to stop with all the zone exits. And they got to respond to when teams are starting to put pressure on them. And we saw a glimpse of that on Tuesday night against Winnipeg. Overall, a great game. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about the pens and what we need to do. And I am Mac checking on out for the day. Have a good one, everybody.